Hey, how's it going? My name is Xu. So Pocket recently announced that they are shutting down their service and I wanted to share some alternatives that I personally like. Okay, so let's start with what I think is the best option right now, uh, which is Recall. I've actually talked about this tool before, but they've recently added a feature that makes switching from Pocket really easy. You can import all your Pocket articles in one click, which saves you from the nightmare of manually moving everything over. And now everything is in your Recall library. And honestly, this is one of my most favorite productivity apps. So I'm really happy they're sponsoring this video today. So now let's see what it can do. So what makes Recall great is that how it turns your reading collections into something much more valuable. When you bring in your articles, Recall automatically categorizes everything, making it super easy to find what you're looking for later. No more endless scrolling through unsorted articles. And what I particularly love is how it lets you interact with your saved content. Um, instead of just having a, a static library of articles, you can chat with individual articles you've saved. So asking questions and uh, getting instant answers about their specific content. And this is great when you're reading a, a long article and just want uh, a specific piece of information. You can just ask AI to find that for you. Or when you don't quite understand something in the article, you can ask AI to explain that to you in plain terms. I really like I can jot down my ideas on the notepad as I read, which helps understand what I'm reading better. Um, the, the AI answers can be added to your notebook as well. And you can even get instant summaries of any article with just one click, which is perfect when you're trying to refresh your memory about something you saved months ago. But here's my most favorite thing about this tool. It helps you actually remember what you read. It can generate quiz based on your saved articles, which is fantastic for retaining information. Um, I've saved hundreds of articles over the years, but how much I actually remember is <laughs> questionable to be honest. But this feature helps solve that problem. Another great feature I love is its ability to find connections between different pieces of content you saved. You might save an article about, um, say, photography and another about business and Rico could show you how they are related in ways you wouldn't have noticed. You can even create your own links as well if you like to do that yourself. Just like with other note-taking apps, use that slash command to find the page you want to link. And it's, it's really cool and satisfying to see your knowledge graph grow and expand as you save more articles and uh, take notes. And speaking of, it's not just for articles either. You can save um, podcasts, blogs, Google Docs, PDFs, and uh, YouTube videos as well. And since it works across your devices, you can save something on your mobile and then access it later on your desktop and uh, vice versa. And I love it automatically tags your saved content so you don't have to sort everything manually, which takes forever. Now, when it comes to Recall on desktop, it works great as well. You can save anything to Recall with just one click and uh, take note or get summary if you need. It has more features such as augmented browsing. This is one of my most favorite things. Um, as you browse the web, it highlights concepts you've saved before, which helps you make connections between what you're reading now and what you've learned before. It's a great way to refresh your memory. So it has a free plan. If you want to try it out, uh, you can download it right now from the link in the description. And uh, they also gave me a special discount code for 25% off, which is only valid for the next month. So uh, go check it out. It's Pocket25. Okay, if you want something closest to Pocket's reading experience, Instapaper is probably a great option. It's one of the oldest Read It Later apps and offers a, a very clean, distraction-free reading environment. What makes it good is its focus on the essentials. You can save articles, organize them into folders, and highlight important passages. So unlike some newer alternatives, Instapaper keeps things simple, uh, which could be either pro or com, depending on what you're looking for. If you just want a reliable way to save and read articles without the uh, you know AI bells and whistles, this is a solid choice. The premium version has useful features like full text search and permanent archive, which is a um, permanent copy of your articles. So they will always be available even if they disappear from the internet. Plus, it integrates nicely with Kindle and Evernote. Uh, it's about $6 a month. It's, uh, I think, one of the most affordable options. Okay, the next one is Qbox, which is another great app. It can be your complete information hub, not just a read it later app. It's kind of like a combination of Pocket and uh, Evernote. You can save articles, 
um, images and files, then organized with tagging system. The saving experience is really, really nice. Not only can you save a content with one click, but also capture just the, the part you like. Um, this feels much faster than highlighting the whole thing. And also its AI features are pretty good. When you save something, Qbox automatically generates summaries and insights. But um, if you want to know something else, you can ask directly as well. The reading experience is solid since it strips away distractions and you can highlight text or add annotations as you read. It's uh, about $70 a year, which I think is pretty good and affordable. Now, for those who love reading and learning together with other people, Glasp offers an interesting twist on the read it later concept. It's designed around the, uh, the idea of uh, social highlighting. Uh, so as you save and highlight web content, you can share your annotations with a community of learners and uh, researchers. So let's say you save an article, you can see what parts other readers found meaningful as well. Uh, which often leads to interesting insight you might have missed. The, uh, the browser extension makes it easy to capture quotes and highlights when reading and everything syncs across your devices. And what makes it really unique is the AI clone, which is essentially AI that knows what you, what you learned and uh, your reading highlights. Um, that means you can ask it anything about what you read before, uh, which is really, really cool. And I also like that you can share this clone with other people if anybody's interested in the things you read. And also there's this great discovery um, system as well, uh, where they recommend books and videos based on your interest. And GLASP is basically free, um, unless if you want to have private highlights rather than having everything public. So you need to subscribe, which is about $10 a month uh, if you want to have some highlights uh, in private. But if you don't care about that like me, it's an amazing free reading app. And now Reader by Readwise is also a great option. It's like your reading hub. Um, instead of juggling separate apps for articles, newsletters, PDFs, uh, YouTube videos and even Twitter threads, uh, you can save everything to Reader and access it all in one place. This makes it easy to keep your reading organized and actually find what you want. And you can highlight text, images, and even tables. And uh, Reader also comes with Ghost Reader, which is an AI assistant built right into the app. If you come across something confusing or want a quick summary, you can ask Ghost Reader to explain concepts, um, answer questions or break down complex ideas. And another unique feature is the daily review. Each day, it resurfaces uh, a handful of your past highlights using space repetition, which really helps actually remember what you read instead of just collecting links. I think this is really nice to turn reading into real learning. So if you want a tool that combines everything you read into one place, um, helps you interact with your content, and it makes it easier to remember what you read, Reader is definitely worth a look. All right, losing pocket is definitely a bummer, but I think it's a um, good opportunity to explore other options that might better suit your needs. Whether you prefer the, uh, the simplicity of Instapaper, the AI features of Recall, the social aspect of Glasp, is something for everyone. So um, take some time to try out different apps and see which one works best for you. To me, Recall is the perfect one, the ability to not just save content, but actually interact with it, learn from it and discover connections um, makes it more than just a reading list. Uh, if you want to try it out, you can use the link in the description below. You can use the code POCKET25 for 25% discount. Okay, let me know what you think in the comment or if you have other tools that you recommend, let me know. Thank you so much for watching till the end and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.